eCoya platform supports defining custom online exam with various attributes like exam pattern, subject, topic and the number of questions to be included along with the marking scheme, exam timer. It is easy to define online exam and get started. This video would help you to understand how to define online exam. You need to log in as admin in the platform. After login you can navigate to exam management as shown on the screen. You can click on create new exam to start defining new online exam pattern. Exam name. I am entering exam name here. Next is allow instant score view. If you set this field to yes, the candidate can view the exam score after completion of the exam. If you set it as no then the candidate would not be able to see the score after completion of the exam process. Next is allow candidate to review exam. If you set this field to yes the candidate can see his or her answers along with correct answer after completion of exam. If you are conducting practice exam then you can allow candidate to review exam. But if it an entrance test or some selection test then review exam can be disabled. Next is total time for online exam. Here you can define total time allotted for the exam say 60 minutes. Next is negative marking for the exam. You can set negative marking for wrong questions. You can enable or disable it as per your requirement. If I enable it then additional text box is shown to enter total marks to be deducted for each wrong answer. Next is select exam type. Here you can select exam type as objective, subjective or combination of objective and subjective questions. Based on your selection exam would have questions from objective type, subjective type where candidate can type answers or combination of objective and subjective questions. Next is timer for each question. There is a facility to define a timer for each question. If you wish to set timer for each question then you can enable it or if you wish to keep timer for entire exam then you can disable it. Next is randomize questions. If you wish to have different question people for each candidate then you can enable this field. If your exam is for 50 questions and your question bank has 200 questions then the system would select 50 set of questions based on the exam pattern for each exam. Next is shuffle questions. If you wish to have different question sequence for each candidate then you can enable this field. If your exam is for 50 questions and you have enabled this then each candidate would get questions in different sequence. Next is image capture or candidate photo capture during online exam. Enable this if you want to capture images, photographs of candidate appearing for exam. You can mention the time interval of capturing photograph, for example 30 seconds, 60 seconds etc. This is useful when you want to track user while appearing for the exam. When candidate appears for the exam, the system takes snapshot of the candidate using web camera attached to the system. Next is allow question navigation during exam. If you set this field to yes, the candidate will be able to move questions. I.e. he slash she can able to view any question by using next, previous navigation buttons. If you set it as no then the question navigation would be disabled and the candidate would need to follow system defined question sequence. Next is exam schedule type. There are three types of schedules supported in the platform. First is flexi schedule and it is default selection. If candidate can appear for online exam in flexible time frame or window then you can select it. You can define 30 minutes exam with flexi schedule window of 4 days so that candidate can appear for exam on any of the 4 days window. Fix schedule. In this schedule candidate must appear for exam within specified time frame only. Resuming exam due to logout, system restart etc. would result in loss of time. Flexi schedule with fixed time frame. In this case candidate after starting exam must finish within specified time window. Resuming exam would result in loss of time. Next is conduct exam in two languages. If you wish to conduct exam where questions would be shown in two languages then you can enable this here. Please note you should have questions in two different languages imported in the system in order to conduct exam in two languages. Candidates would be shown questions in two languages. Candidate can select preferred language during exam. I am clicking on next button to proceed to next section of exam creation. Next is subject and topic selection. Here you can define one or more subjects and its associated topics as exam syllabus. You can define the number of questions to be included for each subject slash topic along with specific attribute of question type and difficulty level. 
system would show you the total number of available questions in the system. You need to select number of questions to be included in the examination. Here I am selecting one subject and its relevant questions as part of my exam. Similarly if exam has one or more topics or subjects should be included then I can select more subjects as shown on the screen. This way you can easily define online exam pattern. After this step you can click on generate exam button. Your exam would be generated. You can see details of exam in exam master grade. You can edit the pattern of online exam by clicking on edit button as shown. Please note exam addition is allowed prior to exam scheduling. Thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe to our channel for getting regular updates of new features of the Aclio platform.